Greetings my friends and viewers, thanks for watching this video. Um, what I wanted to stick us today is how I don't believe that uh, any of these images such as a fish or even the cross is a Christian symbol. Now wait a second, I know a lot of y'all are gasping, but before anybody comments and says that I don't believe that Jesus was crucified on a cross, if you do that, then that's a false accusation or just a blatant lie because you don't want to hear the truth because that's not what I said at all. I said that the cross is not a Christian symbol. So, anyway, um, the Lord Jesus Christ was hung on a cross and the nails, by the way, went in his hands and not his wrists. But uh, what I want to address first is, is how people want to think that the fish is some kind of a Christian symbol. Jesus is not likened to any uh, animals, creeping things, or any of that other things of the world that God created. Jesus Christ has always been, and will always be. He's the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. There's just... There is nothing without Him. And so, what kind of disgusts me is how people will take this uh, fish symbol and try to use it and say that it's Christian. Now, I'm aware of the stories and stuff about how... I'm aware of the stories and stuff how people want to say that this is from Christians back from persecution and how they were just too much of a coward to write out his actual name and they needed to draw a, an image of an animal or a fish or whatever to represent what they thought they were. Well, that's just cowardice. And that's actually just another way of being like, I only want to say Jesus' name if it's around people that's not going to kill me for it. Because a lot of people, they don't really love his precious name. And they'll go and pick up other names like Yashushu or whatever other thing that's not in the Bible. Uh, because Basically because the Lord Jesus Christ is not enough for them. They're afraid that the Bible is really not the truth. And that's why you'll see a lot of people using the name Yahshua. That's, another, that's for another video though. Because his name was given in the New Testament, which was written in Greek and Aramaic, not in the uh, Old Hebrew. So, um, anyway, on with this uh, video. The, uh, the fish represents uh, the false god Dagon. That's, that's the fish god. Jesus is no fish god. And <laughs> the whole thing about what I was going to uh, go on about the cross, uh, yes, I do know that Paul said that he glories in the cross. He's, but he's not actually talking about the uh, old rugged cross that people in the cult buildings want to sing about. Um, that makes about as much sense as uh, sitting there prancing around with any other weapons of murder because the cross was used by the Romans because it's a heathen pagan sun worship idol and that's why they hung the Lord Jesus Christ on it because they were trying to sacrifice him to their false god. Um, you can't take something that's pagan and turn around and try to Christianize it. Okay, It's just like Xmas and Easter and all this other stuff that is not Christian. And for all these other things that I'm talking about, I already have articles on my website at sharingthetruthinlove.com. If you just click on the articles tab, you'll find them. i um, got all kinds of stuff on there. I uh, try to categorize it the best that I can. I'll pl place links for the, all of this in the description. But you will not find anywhere where uh, anybody in the New Testament was taking a cross and using that to say, I'm a Christian. It just it wasn't so because we're commanded to worship God in spirit and truth, not with things that are made from the earth. Okay, and uh, as far as uh, the cross goes, well, you know, you see it marking loads of graves, people's animals, th animals' graves, and things like that because that's a that's a pagan sign. I mean, you'll see all kinds of people that don't love God at all that that wear a cross. So a cross is actually not a Christian symbol at all. It is pagan. It always has been. Um, but you know, I'm not sitting there and telling people how unsaved that, and I'm not sitting here telling people that I think you're unsaved for the cross. I'm telling you that you're wrong for claiming that the cross is a Christian symbol, and I'm telling you that it's an idol and you ought to turn from it. A Christian doesn't need anything else but Jesus. 
We don't need we don't need any false pictures of that long-haired reprobate thing in the Catholic Church. Which, by the way, if you think that that is a representation of Jesus Christ, then you're so dead wrong. Because, for one thing, Jesus was fulfilling the Jewish law. He couldn't have done that with long girly hair looking like some kind of an effeminate thing. So, that right there is enough. Case closed. But, you know, you can look through the Bible. God, God hates images. And any of these pictures of what people want to say is Jesus, well, that makes as much sense as me taking a picture of some other woman and saying, that's my wife, instead of, uh, you know, who really is my wife. I mean, because that's exactly what's going on there. You're taking a picture of who's supposed to be... You're taking a picture, rather, <clears throat> of somebody that you're claiming to be your husbandman. And, well, may, if you're not saved, then I guess that effeminate freak is. But, you know, uh, for those of us that are really saved by Jesus Christ, born again and washed in His blood, we don't have any pictures of the King. We're seeking Him by faith and not sight. So, I'm... It's, it just kills me how people people want to pick up all these worldly ways because the truth just isn't enough for them. They need something to hold and touch. The truth doesn't touch their heart enough to make them feel complete, whole, or like God's happy with them. Because I'm telling you, God hates these images. I mean, where did Jesus say, now this cross, carry this in symbolism of Christianity? Because any time, why um, one other thing when you're dealing with uh, you know heathen Muslims, for instance, they always like to go on about well, not always, but a good deal of the time they try and go on about the cross, this, that, or the other. And I tell them that's not a Christian symbol; it's pagan, just like uh, everything else that people sit there and try to tout as of God. But you know, the only symbol that a Christian really has that they could actually hold in their hand. Is God's Word, the Bible. And for those of you that really know and are wiser on the subject, you all know that that's the authorized version. And I don't believe that King James, by the way, when you put King in front of his name, stop putting a capital K because there's only one person that has the right to that and deserves the honor and glory, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. So anytime I do write out King James, I use a lowercase k because he's just a king of the earth, a, a tiny ruler, okay? Nowhere does he deserve to even have his name on the Bible, much less have a capital K in king. But, you know, if you don't want to be grammatically correct, that's your business, okay? <clears throat> it's just the same as people, when they try to talk about the true living God, they use a lowercase g. If you look in the Bible, that is never, ever talking about the true living God, but rather the God of this world, which is Satan. And you'll find that over in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4, if I remember right. Anyway, uh, I intend on this to not even be a long video. Um, I don't have my Bible here. I'm just sitting here in the car waiting. Um, but, uh, you know, if you feel the need that you have to have all these symbols, that his name isn't enough, then I pray that you get the strength to believe the truth. A lot of preachers have spent a lot of time lying to people trying to convince them that the cross is a great Christian image. It is not. They used it to try to kill Christianity. They wanted the Lord dead and they put him on a cross. And then other people turn around and tout that thing. Um, so my stand is this. The cross isn't a Christian symbol, guys. The Lord Jesus Christ, his precious name, that is what we're supposed to have on our banner. Not some kind of cross on a flag or just a cross to run around with or whatever else. His name is what is supposed to be glorified, not what he was killed on. And that's what's wrong with the world today. There's a lot of Christians that, and I, and I said that right, the world. There's a lot of Christians in name only that wear crosses around their neck. They don't ever want to say anything about his name. And that's just... That's just very strange. Because if you really think his name is so precious, why don't you want the world to know about his name? Everybody already knows that he was hung on a cross. I mean, you're going to get people like the JWs who uh, just way off in perverse land that don't, don't believe any of that at all. 
But uh, I have a video. I already have a video about he was nailed nailed through his hands and not his wrist, and as well as that he was hung on a cross. So I'm not rejecting the fact that the Lord was hung on the cross. So if you want to uh, falsely accuse me of, of denying that or something, you just go right ahead and I'll prove you to be a liar real quick and easy. But uh, all the links to the proof of what I'm talking about or any of that and the scripture references in the description box. So make sure and check that out before uh, asking me anything that I've probably already answered anyway. But, uh, you know, if you want to try and tell me how Christian you think the cross is, then what you have to do is you show me book, chapter, and verse. Because that is my sole authority in life's the Bible. Not what your pastor told you, not what your pappy told you, not what the deacon or bishop or priest or whoever else is sitting over top of you. I want to see from God's Word where the cross was ever Christianized and deemed fit for use to uh, use as some kind of a flag for Christianity. Much less the little stupid fish thing. That thing's just stupid as I don't know what. But, you know, all this stuff is just uh, worldly ways to try and get you to skirt his name and to fit in with the rest of them. So anyway, um, I appreciate you all for watching my videos. Um, I ask for y'all to please pray for my enemies. Make sure to pray for your enemies because we're supposed to love and bless them regardless of how wicked they are to us. As Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 44. So, uh, you know, again, I'm not trying to make anybody feel condemned or anything, but I'm pointing out to you how the cross is an idol, okay? Um, yeah. Because I realize that loads and loads of people have been just, just sadly, just straight up deceived by this, and most people just have no clue, and you got... All these preachers pre preaching how, you know, this, that, and the other about the cross. And, I mean, I've heard uh, another church that I went to even call the, uh, the kids group uh, uh, servants of the cross. Well, it looks like i got to get on, the way, on my way. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys, even the worst of my enemies. And as always, praise the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May he richly bless and guide you all. Have a terrific day.